Hi, right, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your BMW M47 engine to the better and long-lasting uh, crankcase breather slash oil separator. This one happens to be on a Freelander 2004. I think this engine is also fitted to some of the BMW saloon cars. Uh, I've already taken this middle engine cover off and loosened some of the fittings. This back cover needs removing. The air filter sits behind there along with the crankcase breather and that's where we're going to put the new part in. This is the new oil separator that replaces the filter and comes with uh, the oil seals as well. We have to remove this whole moulding. I've already released some of the uh, Jubilee clips so we take these off. Like so this one, this one off the EGR valve. And then, oh, we have to release the temperature sensor. And then we can disconnect this one just by giving it a bit of a wiggle and a bit of a pull. As you can see, I've already loosened the back cover, haven't taken it off once already. And then we can lift that whole thing away. So there's one, two, three, four, five of these hex headed bolts are need removing to remove the air filter cover. I've already undone those. You need a long hex key or a hex bit on a screwdriver. So here you can see where those bolts are. Five of those. To fit the new crankcase filter or the new oil separator to remove the four bolts that are around this cover uh, which I've already done and Remove the bolts that hold this wiring around in position. It can be a little bit, a little bit easier to remove the clips on the fuel injectors and to pull off the fuel injector line. Uh, but it also can be just about manoeuvred past those like so. So this is where the bolts were: one, two, three, and four. And that is the little hex bit, five millimeter hex bit. Fits in a quarter inch drive socket, so removing those. Here's the old uh, crankcase breather filter, which is looking very black, probably clogged. Uh, so we're going to change for the new type. All right, fit the new rubber o ring. Change these little uh, rubber seals first. I need to get hold of them with your fingers or a pair of pliers or indeed that little tab that's on the end there. Pull them out and put the new ones that came with the kit back in. And it's easier to grab a hold of that little tab on the side. There we go. Just that one out. And the new ones obviously go in those slots. It's obvious which way around they go. And actually I found it easier to fit the uh, new parts, the oil separator, onto the engine side first before fitting the top. And that's the cover in place. So in the end it was uh, a little bit easier to just pull out these little metal clips here on these two injector tops and pull off this return fuel line just so you can get it past uh, this little tight gap here. You need to pull that pipe off and then just tighten up the four bolts here 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 and here and job's done and that's it that's how to fit the upgraded crankcase breather an oil separator crankcase breather filter okay thanks for watching bye